Liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah, that's how we're going to start it off this Monday. As the Tether CEO says, Brad, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. We're not in any danger. In fact, Brad, you, Ripple, and XRP are the ones in trouble. That's right. Brad said that the United States government was clearly investigating Tether and that Tether would be the next black swan. Well, guess what? The Tether CEO slapped back and I've got to share his comments with you. Fighting again! Piece of shit! Fight, 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 fight. Yep, that's the deal, Lemon Peel, is these two CEOs are battling it out. It's like watching a bunch of retards trying to fuck a doorknob out there. Now, I shared with you yesterday what Brad said regarding Tether. Now, to be fair, I got to share with you what the Tether CEO said about Brad, Ripple, and XRP. Shadow Moon says, thanks for sharing a gem, Mr. K. Uh, Land Yacht says, if the USA kills crypto in the country, does make XRP worthless? Dude, really, a lot of people out there are saying, whoa, what is going on with what Brad said about Tether? We're going to get to it super soon. Bitcoin sitting at 62,952. Happy Monday, everyone. 2977 is the price to eat. BNB is near 600 at 595. XRP is at 50.6. XLM is at 10.5. Meme is making a move back on up with TonCoin. 725 did a story about TonCoin and the massive quarter billion plus investment from venture capital firms. There's money out there. There's just a couple projects people want to get into. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse claims the U.S. government is obviously going after USDT. Tether's Ardonio claps back. Garlinghouse said on a May 10th episode that I shared with you, the World Class Podcast, that it's clear to him that the U.S. is going after Tether, which could trigger another catastrophic crypto black swan event reminiscent of FTX. The SUSDT stablecoin stands at a staring at one hundred and ten billion dollar market cap here's what brad says i view tether is a very important part of the ripple e ripple eco uh. here's what brad said i view tether as a very important part of the ecosystem adding that he doesn't know how to forecast what implications potential u.s enforcement against tether would have on the industry now remember brad and the crew at ripple are launching their own stable coin so what better way to make yourself look good and your competition to look bad by saying that the United States is investigating you. Now, remember, though, the SEC is already investigating Brad, and we've already figured out that primary sales are a big no-no. But let's look at the other side of the story. Here's from Paulo, CEO of USDT issuer Tether. An uninformed CEO, he's talking about Brad, leading a company being investigated by the SEC, launching a competitive stablecoin is being reported spreading fear about USDT. Let me give you an update on Tether USDT ecosystem safely. USDT is the most used stablecoin in the world with hundreds of millions of users. Entire communities across these regions are in bank left behind traditional banking and USDT fits their needs. At Tether, we believe our main mission is to ensure that the entire community can benefit from a safe global financial system. Here are some real facts to show how USDT Tether is leveraging the transparency of blockchain and working with the government. So what he's saying is, look, we're not getting investigated. We're working with the government. So who's the liar, liar, pants on fire? Fight, fight, fight. Listen to these stats from Tether. Tether stable coins respect the OFAC SDN list. Tether has a highly trained internal investigation team that relies on a wide variety of tools to monitor primary and secondary markets. Tether's collaboration with Chainalysis helps our teams to have the best in-class software and training for proactive monitoring. Tether collaborated since inception with 124 agencies across 40 different countries. Tether blocked more than $1.3 billion since inception, most related to scam hacks and money laundering. Approximately $1.6 million is related to terrorist finance. Tether collaborated on a voluntary basis in 198 requests from law enforcement to block wallets in the last 12 months, 90 from the United States, 339 in the last three years, with 158 of those being in the U.S., Tether also blocked more than a half a billion working with U.S. law enforcement. Tether onboarded the FBI and the U.S. Secret Service for reassurances. Tether collaborates with Israel and Ukraine. Tether cooperates directly with law enforcement agencies 
while other stable coins claim to be more compliant. Paulo is basically saying Brad is uninformed. Now, you look at Brad and the situation there. They're launching their own stable coin. And we also know that Brad and the crew is already in trouble with the SEC, right? Primary sales, it's already been proven and it's already been decided by a court that primary sales are a big no-no. I've got the market cap of XRP up on the screen and you can see at times it was touching above 40, but you know, it's slitting down there in the middle 20s. In fact, if you look at the price action of XRP, 50.6 cents, choo-choo, train is leaving the station. Tether market cap over the same year started off at double XRPs and now is nearly triple of XRPs. So is Brad actually throwing shade or is he telling the truth? And for real, at this point, what are we all to think? Well, I know what we're to think. Why can't these people work together in this damn industry? You've got regulators trying to take a piece out of all these different projects and companies out there. It's not helping us that they're fighting with each other instead of working with each other. And the problem we got is you've got Tether over here with their stable coin. You got Ripple who wants to launch theirs. Ripple CEO is like, yo, these people over here are in trouble. These people over here are like, yo, we work with law enforcement like all the time. In fact, you over here are actually the ones that are in trouble with the case with the SEC and we don't have that over here. So who's right, who's wrong, or is just, just two tardos humping a fucking doorknob? It's like watching a bunch of retards trying to fuck a doorknob out there. I'm probably going to have to think two tardos humping a doorknob because for real, do we need this in the crypto? It doesn't matter what side is right or wrong. Should people at the top be ripping on each other in an industry that is facing extinction from the SEC and other government agencies out there? So this is going to have to play out for a little bit because you know what? If we don't see a Wells notice or any enforcement action on USDT anytime in the near future, then it would be true that Brad is liar, liar, pants on fire, and all he was trying to do was throw shade at Tether. Now, if all of a sudden we find out that Tether does have some law enforcement action going on and Tether's in trouble with the United States government, well, then that sets up Brad and Ripple's stablecoin for a nice, juicy start as USDT would be in trouble with the United States. So... Is it liar, liar, pants on fire, or is it fight, 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 fight? Well, so far this Monday, it's just a fight with words. Unlike South Park, where girls were throwing bows, dropping bombs. Let me know what your Monday vibes are like, as mine are all about recovery today. Yeah, mismatched lid with the cup, because I don't know where my lid for this thing went. But let me know what you're doing for the rest of the day, because I got recovery stuff to do. And I'll catch you cool cats later.